Hello and welcome to B and D. And I've partly put makeup on. I haven't got much um, to deal with my eyes, so I haven't done that because I'm not going to. But I wanted to show you what I got in this package. Tell you, um, I came across this item. Well, this app, and it offered a whole pile of things going very cheap but then there was quite a lot of really bad reviews and I thought I should really just spend a little bit and get a couple of items and see what they're like. Now you'll find out how much I spent at the end and right now I have all the items laid out in the order that it comes onto my list of what I got. So. Here we go and we start with the first little item. All of these are fairly small, inexpensive items which you can get. So this is a little key ring. It's an anime cosplay key ring, 5.5 centimeters. And this one's a little girl. So just something to add on probably to my bag to just make it a little bit more jazzier. The second item, I got this uh, lip balm. It's completely sealed. It uh, has lipstick written on it. That keychain was 44 pence. If you want to keep a running total, then go right ahead. So this was 89 pence. I'm going to leave the third item because that was the most expensive item I got. So I'm going to leave that one to last. So I need to move down my page. Next comes this little heart necklace. Now, I haven't had this out of here. Or is it, it is attached to itself. This tiny little heart necklace. And that was 48p. Now, even if the chain breaks, I can always put it on a different chain and just use it as a pendant. And is it still worth 48p? I think it probably is. Nothing stops you from taking it off while it's on, putting it on. So one little necklace, 48p. The next item was one of these cleaning sponges, reusable. Instead of constantly using the wipes, then you can use this cleaning pad. This cleaning pad, once again, 48p. Next, I have two different bags that I used to go out with. Now, the first one is quite large, and that's my main one. And the purse that I have is quite large, it's like this big, but I have a small bag which the big purse will not fit in, so I got a small purse. Just enough to carry any little money where you need. So we'll get rid of the little plastic and you can have a look at that. Just a simple, tiny little purse. That was 89 pence. Next, as we scroll down the page a bit more, not that far. Okay, next we have, it's a set of three necklaces. And as they are in here, they are all merge together but this whole set of three find the opening and you can have a look the chains are different thicknesses on on one of them let's see They are one necklace with three separate chains 
on it and all you've got to do is untangle it so it has one catch looking at it when it's on screen it didn't show you the clasp it just showed three bits of jewelry one there's one like orange butterfly there that's the top part the, the shortest chain the next one comes the word angel which is the next one and then after that there are some gold which are supposed to be the longest chain so when you put that on you have what looks like three separate necklaces but it's all with one connector so this single necklace that looks like three this cost a whopping 98 pence so one 98 pence necklace right we'll get rid of that piece of plastic as well next item is a over the ear cuff earring um, this one I'm not yet sure how to physically put it on to get it to stay there but it's only that big and it has a little hook bit on there but as it's all metal and there's no plastic then the metal is going to stick into your ear and uh, so that's why I'm not sure on how I'm going to see to physically put it on um, but this little item 89 pence going down the page we'll put that back into its little bag so we don't loss it the next item is here this is a giant bow So it is quite large, that's the size of my hand. So it is a large bow, as you see. Either that or I have a very small face, but it is a large bow, it's quite wide. Um, so as you take it, it's for the back of the hair to hang down. But that was 98 pence and I can't get anything that looks like this for 98 pence in any of the stores. Anywhere you just get these little tiny bows, not something that is this big. This probably going, I would probably use with longer hair. Get rid of that bit of cardboard. Next we have another one of those earrings that go over your ears. Since I haven't got PSDs, I can't put that and I find that I've got some magnetic ones and they pinch so badly that after about 30 minutes to an hour that my ears are immensely sore. So it was just trying to find something a little different and I can't find the opening for this packet. Uh, These are like, there's three of them, and this I think is supposed to be on that bit of thing. But, and you're supposed to put them over, yeah. We'll see how that goes. But these were only 44 pence, so not that much. Get rid of the bowl plastic bag. Next comes an empty packet because I'm wearing the other item and it's not the cross, it's on my finger. This is an adjustable ring, which just as well because I have quite big fingers. This actually follows a figure eight, and I have a bracelet with the same pattern on. So therefore, but it just pulls out of its little hook. See the little ridge there? That's the division between it. So 
I put that on because I'm really not used to wearing wing rings, so um, I've put it on just to keep it uh, that. That ring was 98 pence. Move down the page again. We have two items left. Um, this one is a Korean style, simple and fashionable bracelet. And it is a red butterfly. And strangely, when I opened it up, well, you won't be able to see that very well, one of the connectors for its length has come off that end. And I have no idea with my nails if I can physically put that back on again. But for most of my bracelets, I'm using magnetic clasps on the ends of it because I find it too fiddly as you see with that this could do with being a gold one but I've only got silver so I put these magnetic clasps on and that because actually on this one it won't fit around my wrist even if I could fasten it um, so it's a little short but this bracelet that was a whopping 44 pence so take it it's not that much and it's the only way to build up a jewellery collection and change up jewellery is to buy cheap things it may not be brilliantly good but then if they get lost or damaged it's not a great deal to lose so 44 pence um, my last item surprisingly is another 44 pence item other than the item I've left out this item is a pink powder puff sponge 44 pence as you see its size and that's a 44 millimeter watch face but it is about the size of my palm so about three inches I would have said across so that uh, 44 pence now they don't tell you on any of the sites, and I didn't see it when I was ordering, but when you come to the end, if you expect the free postage, which I got, you have to come to a minimum value of £10 for the UK to get free shipping. So, I actually seen this special offer, and it's in here. Now, i seen this because it was very cheap. And it's an item of clothing. Well, actually, it's two items of clothing. And I thought that they would be easy to separate and wear individually. One of them you wouldn't see. Um, the other one you would see. So, what it was, I didn't choose the colour. This was the only colour on offer. But the item is... It's a swimwear top, so it actually it covers the whole of the area here, which since these aren't real, I don't want them getting lost and coming out, and I couldn't wear any other bra which would be plunged because then you would be able to physically see them against my body skin. So this fits nicely. I picked the size 16. It's padded inside I don't see any problems so far with any of the stitching and because it's padded inside it has a place for them to go so that was the top and as I said I have the top it covers properly I would just have my midriff out empty the bottoms are another matter because I couldn't wear these without having something else on because then you would, um, how can we put this in delicate, we, but you would see everything. Um, but the bottoms are quite still quite large. But I have tried this on and it fits. So, and I've tried it with the uh, puppies in place and they stay there and they're not 
removing themselves from where they were supposed to be. Now, that item, the two item, for the top and the bottom, the top could be wear separate with maybe a darker skirt. Uh, in summer, on the bottoms, I could just wear as bottoms underneath whatever I'm wearing. That item, on the special offer it was on, was £2.18. It is, yes, the dearest item in, but it is an item of clothing which can be separated and be used, or if it's just for me in a place where no one is going to see me, I can put on and be cooler if we ever have a summer. But it comes in its little zippy pack with holes in, so we'll put it back into that. So, as we said, these were all the items. Now, let's just count them. We had the keyring one, two for the lip balm, three for the bikini bit, four for the hard necklace, five for the makeup pad, six for the purse, seven for the angel necklace, eight for the earring with the leaves, the first one, the metal one, nine for the bow, ten for the other earrings that go over you, that were the silver ones. Ten was the ring. Eleven was the butterfly bracelet. And twelve was the powder puff. So, twelve items in total. Free shipping. Um, everything came together in the one envelope, which was good. The final drop-off to me was via what used to be called My Hermes, and now I can't pronounce whatever the hell they want to call themselves. Um, they say that the total amount, if I got them without any of the discounts, was supposed to be £43, and I probably wouldn't buy 12 items for £43. But my cost, and how much I paid for these items, was £10.51. And as you take it, Nearly all except the bikini thing was under a pound each and a few items were even under 50 pence each. If you bought these items on maybe something like AliExpress then you would have postage and VAT on top and there didn't seem to be any VAT or anything. I kept this order quite small and I had to add in another item. I think the powder puff uh, was one of the items I had to add. I think the powder puff and probably the, the nail balm I added at the last minute because I was below £10 when I came to check out because, as I said, there wasn't anything shown on the screen for it. So um, I had to spend £10 and they offered those items and I couldn't be bothered to go back and find anything else, which I could have easily have done. But after picking out all of them items, I was getting a little fed up of being on looking for stuff because I kept seeing things which were far too expensive. So I ordered those items. They didn't take all that long to go. They gave me a date that it would be it would arrive before. It did that by two days before the date of its first showing. Uh, so frankly, it, well, it still took a while because I thought this would be coming more from the UK and it still got shipped in from somewhere abroad, but I don't think it was China because it was really quick compared to the number of AliExpress items that I am still waiting for to come from China. Um, but £10.51, including postage, delivered in this lovely orange so, yeah, via my homies that virtually my homies charge anything from £2.60, I think, for a parcel is the lowest price. So, not sure how they even got the stuff at the price, but I don't care. Why should I bother? But I got those items and that is what I've got. So, tell me what you think. The quality seems fine to me, um, as long as you don't imagine it's going to be brilliant then the cheaper items they're cheap items they will match anything you know go to the pound shop and you maybe get something that's a key ring but it's not going to be quite the same everything else seems fine so with that if you would please like comment share subscribe and i will see you 
on my next video. So, bye.